color do you start seeing on the leaf and the vein, the petiole and the stem? Red. Red. So what do you think? Red maple. It's red maple. <laughs> yeah. So red maple is opposite maple leaf. But we got two maples, sugar and red. Here's how you tell them apart with the leaves. The red maple leaf has teeth all along the margin. So it's got these big lobes, but in between it's serrated. See all the little teeth? So it's a serrated maple leaf. And sugar maple, you're going to see later, it's not. Okay. So when you see teeth, these big things are lobes. You see all the little teeth everywhere in between? That's a great tip. Now the red color, not a bad thing. It's just not there all the time. It is now because it's starting to turn into fall. And even the twigs, let's see, are they, yeah, a little bit. The buds, if you look real close at the buds, you'll start seeing red, and the twig will get red. In the winter when we're out here, the twigs and the buds are red. And we say opposite red buds, it's red maple. They don't see any leaves. Uh, this thing's native and super common. It's every, every lab we go to, when I get out of my car, I could throw a rock and hit a red maple. Okay. Almost, I think literally. There's going to be one every woods we go into. It's kind of neat in that almost these younger limbs, something almost looks like beech, doesn't it? Gray, swim, and then, but look what it turns into. Very, very scaly. So again, almost all of them are smooth when young, and they turn into something. Beech stays smooth. Uh, maples get the little samaras, right, that fly. They're not here because they come out in very early spring. Like when we teach this in the winter, they actually see them before the semester. In fact, they come out so early, they often get ice and snow on them. It's very early spring they come out, and then they're long gone. They get little little flying helicopters. They're quite little. They're not probably the ones that you know. And the wood is uh, it's soft. It, not super soft, but it, it's, it's considered, they call it a soft maple not as prized as sugar maple. Sugar maple is super hard, so it's not as important timber-wise. It's like well, some people, it's kind of like a dandy one. They don't like it. It's a chunky in the forest. But it, it, it's got some use. It just doesn't have as much as like a sugar maple. So, opposite, yes. Maple leaf, yes. You're down to two, sugar or red. And what do you do? Some little teeth. Are the buds turning red? Is it gray in places? You, you just, what you like is number three. Uh, the leaf will work till the leaves fall. Then you'll have to switch to red bud. By then, the buds are all red. So uh, the red bud might last better for you.